What's up, everybody? Dave H. Starside Kennels. What's going on? So, I'm going to give you a little look at the, the puppies. They're doing good. I'm going to let you look at the newborns and look at the two pockets. They're, they're three weeks old now. They're start, I got separated from her and uh, from Beretta, and they're, they're eating food now. And they're starting to get active. They were playing with each other earlier, so they're starting to get in that cute phase, you know, where they're running around, jumping around like crazy. So check out. That's Smoke Girl I'm keeping right there. Next there's the Buckskin that's available. I might keep that Smoke Boy too. I don't know. Because I'm not keeping any Merles. I don't. I mean, I, I might keep a Merle, but I don't know. I might. I might not. I might keep one Smoke and one Merle. I don't know. I might keep the smoke Merle boy. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I got to see what they look like when they're older. You know, right now I can't make a decision. I know I'm keeping the female, that female there, but the rest are available right now. So before I make a decision, if any of you wants one of these puppies, it's time to pull the trigger. The puppies look good, boy. Look at the size of them, man. Get big, man. I mean, that buckskin's a female. Look how diesel she is, man. So that's them. Us here, trying to get this place tightened up, clean this room out, get all this plumbing shit out of here. And, uh, she's still sitting in the welcome box, but she ain't trying to kill me no more. She's sleeping in there. I gotta get her out of here. She's got withdrawal from the puppies, I guess. And now I can show you a close up of these puppies. Let me zoom this down a little bit. Look at that blue man. Look at the head on that boy. Diesel. So I'm keeping him. Hold on a second. Let me reach in here and grab this. Come here, man. These puppies are so fat, they barely fit in my hand. I mean, I'm not. And I got this little, little bruiser here, too. What's up, Bubba? They just ate. Might eat some more. We got fat like little grizzly bears, man. Look at the size of that monster. Look at how broad his back skull is. I'm gonna close this up. I don't want him falling out of the damn cage. So this this bad boy here, this male right here is 3K. If somebody wants them, 3K for that male. I'm keeping him. The only way you're gonna get that blue, you're gonna have to come at me with a with a, with, a, with a bag if you want that blue one. Yeah, you you gonna have to come up with at least 4K if you want that blue one, because he's a monster. I I know what he's gonna be. I got an idea what he's gonna be. So I ain't letting him go for under 4K. No more of this cheap shit stuff. You either gotta pay. You gotta pay to play, man. If you want quality, you gotta pay for it. You know, thousands of dollars I've spent on this, on this damn, on all my dogs. You know, I mean, it is what it is, man. You got to pay. It's not an outrageous price either. I mean, that dog, I think that dog's going to be in a ring. I think that dog's going to, going to, going to go in there and kill it. I could be wrong, but we'll see when he's 10 weeks old. We'll see what he looks like. Um, again. I gotta start searching around for a new ear cropper because the last ear crop I had did not go the way I wanted it to go. And I can't have that happen. Period. So if somebody doesn't want to take pride in their work or is in a hurry or whatever. And I never had a problem before, so I don't know what the hell happened last time, but my ears look like shit. So I'm not, I'm not chancing it again. So I'm preferably looking for somebody that does laser. You know, and somebody that doesn't stitch them too tight and then stitches them too tight and makes the ears curl up, you know, and, and fold over and shit because they tighten the stitches too much. Can't do that. So. But I'm really happy with what, the way the breedings I have been, that I have done, how they've been going. I mean, these puppies, quality these puppies, I'm going to go close up and, and I'll go to each one. A smoke boy there. And that's like a smoke merle. He smoked like that one on the left, but he's got some tan and, and got blotches on him. All right. 
Then we got the lilac merle girl right there with more white on her. And this brown white boy is a monster. Look at the size of that puppy, man. That puppy's monsters. And then this one here is more like a... This one here is kind of like a buckskin champagne buckskin with dark blotches on it. And then this one's like more like a buckskin too. This one on the right, the last one. So if you look at the color of that one, her head and everything, and you look at the head on that one, it's the same color. But crazy, crazy patterns, man. And then I'm keeping this female here, the smoke female. I'm keeping her. But I just don't want to keep too many Merle's because I got Kobe. So, you know, I mean, I got enough Merle stuff, you know. I mean, if I have to keep them, I will. But we'll see. Hope everybody's having a good day. Today's my birthday. I'm 55 years old. So I woke up. I'm happy. I'm still here. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes we get caught up in all this bullshit. Even I've been getting caught up in all this dog. All this dog. Shut up! You know, I've been getting caught up in all the dog stuff and all stuff lately. Hey, I woke up. I'm still here. I still get to see my daughter. So it ain't that bad. You know what I mean? Like I said, this, this whole dog thing is like, like I said the other night, if you buy them, you buy them. If you don't, you don't. I'm going to keep doing my thing regardless. So it really doesn't matter. But I got some quality puppies here. I know what I got. You know, if people say they know what they got, well, I'm at that stage. I know what I got. You know what I mean? And it's only going to get better from here. It's only going to go up, man. I mean, when after I breed Blue, and I'm going to breed Jasmine and that QBN's Gemini, I'm going to have some shit in this yard, boy. And then when I put that together, sometime next year or like two years from now, whoo, Lord, it's going to be nice. So anyway... Everybody have a good day. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.